okay so go to again access list access list 10 and uh, permit any 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 that's it okay so if you test from the pc you cannot ping but simultaneously if you ping from the router you can ping so that is the power of explicit deny uh, we are here for a new topic that is access control list standard access control list so standard access control list is usually we create to uh, deny or permit only source address okay only the source ip it is not like a extended access list that is we use for for a specific source or destination port and protocol so in standard access list only you can block or deny source ip subnet or address okay so let's try to uh, configure and uh, here are the steps one by one so firstly you need to check the connectivity in this topology so here is already i have created so let's check from its command prompt ping any ip address in this topology like 192.168.1.1 so it is working or ping the last ip 2.2 that is also pinging successfully let's try from this router <coughs> ping the ip address of the pc 1112 and it is working and ping any other router ip so you can ping 192.168.1.1 that's it okay so you have tested the uh, connectivity from one router to another or one device to another uh, let's configure access control list so i just want to apply access control list on this router where i would deny uh, this pc not to reach this router okay but these two router can reach so how to kind of how we can apply so can uh, enable terminal config terminal and uh, apply access list and access list range a standard access list range is 1299 okay so give 1299 any number that you want so i'm just giving 10 and permit or deny okay only these two permit deny these two statement you can give so i'm just want to deny deny one 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 two that's it and there is one special rule explicit deny explicit deny means if you apply this access list so it is not only to deny this uh, specific uh, pc to communicate all other router or devices will not also communicate because of the explicit explicit deny okay so let's check it and apply it on the interface so interface is this and uh, ip access group and give the number of that access list and then inbound or outbound so give inbound this is the inbound interface okay and now test from the pc so you see you are getting destination host unreachable you will not get the reply from the pc uh, that router where you have applied that access list can you ping from this router let's check 192 168 1.2.2 uh, 
so you are also not getting reply from that router although you have not denied this uh, ip address why it is because of the explicit deny at the bottom of every access list so you need to permit all other traffic that you um, that you want to allow okay so go to again access list access list 10 and uh, permit any 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 that's it okay so if you test from the pc you cannot ping but simultaneously if you ping from the router you can ping so that is the power of explicit deny okay if you ping from this router let's ping is that that is also working okay so hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching it